event setup day at the Singapore Comic Con. We're checking out Transformers. They got Optimus Prime obviously on display. Behind them, Starscream. I'm super impressed with Starscream. What a cool statue. But first, Optimus Prime comes with his truck mode. It's an additional accessory. So let's check out some of the details here. Here's Sang from XM. Doing some setup. Let's check out Starscream. Jet mode. Very cool. I need Starscream. This guy is awesome. He's actually holding Megatron in his hand there. Megatron's gun mode. Transformers fans should appreciate that. There you go, Transformers from Singapore Comic Con. So here is the Top Cow line from XM. And again, this is the first time for me seeing these. This is Witchblade. She looks really nice. She turned out pretty, pretty good. This guy here, the darkness, we'll take a look at the back first. Hopefully you can hear me over all the drilling and assembly going on in the background. Again, we're here on setup day. We've got really great access to all these pieces. So we've got to thank XM for that. This one here is Magdalena. This base. So this is a separate piece in the back. Okay, so you can move around, you can choose to not display it if you think it's too big. Looks pretty nice. Sort of the fallen column on her statue base. Here's part of the wing from this guy up here, broken off. And it's on the on the ground by her feet. Nice details on her costume. Sort of a gilded gold pattern. Very cool. And let's go around and take a look at Darkness. This guy was nominated as one of the contenders for best large scale statue of 2016. I can totally see why now. Having just now seen it in person. Tends to look at there. Very, very cool. So that's the top cow lineup from XM. Three pieces, Witchblade. Darkness and Magdalena. I think all three look really, really nice. Okay, here's a couple pieces from a Hong Kong comic company. I'm told by Singh and XM that they're sort of the, the Oriental Marvel. These, both of these characters, you can see the guy in the back, elevated there, they're both villains. But this guy here, looks really cool. I love that mask. Let's take a look at the mask, closer look at that. Looks really cool and he's just kind of got a come at me bro type of pose. The flames in, the, in his hands look really cool. They're sort of a... a translucent resin. They look really well done. I like this base. You can see it's got like a there's like a tiger in there. It looks like water almost. But there's a tiger and there's a dragon. I think the name of the comic is called Lion 
Dragon Gate. This guy's another villain. So, he looks pretty cool with his sword. And he looks like he's controlling sort of telekinetically. And all of these look like ghosts or demons on the base that he's summoning. I have no idea if that's what he's actually doing, but I don't know this comic, but it looks cool. I think fans of that series will be impressed. And I think this guy here, he's cool. Very cool. So the Hong Kong Comics line from XM Studios. I think they both turned out really nice.